Hey guys, it's Daniel. Mike Inez has been the bassist in Alice in Chains since 1993, after the band and their original bassist Mike Starr parted ways. The following is a quote from Mike Inez where he discusses how he ended up joining the band. Later in this video, I'm going to read to you a quote from Mike Starr regarding his reaction to being asked to leave. But first, the Mike Inez quote. This is from Grunge is Dead. Quote, I had just finished a 12-month tour with Ozzy, supporting the No More Tears record. One of the last bands to open up for us was Alice in Chains. We were in Nevada mixing Live and Loud with Ozzy. Sean Kinney from Alice in Chains called me while they were in Brazil and said, what are you doing? They were going to make a move on their bass player. I went up to Ozzy and said, is it cool? I hate to leave you in the lurch. It's as clear as day, he says. He encouraged me to do it. I ended up not going to Brazil, however. I was going to hop on a plane and jam with the guys without practice or anything. Then, Sean and Jerry called me and said, We'll meet you in London, and we'll do two or three days rehearsal. So, I flew to London, and we did, I think, 21 shows in 16 or 18 countries. It was an amazing schedule right off the bat. These guys were so burned from the time travel, going down to Brazil and then to London. We spent the first day there just smoking. We got two rehearsals in. I think it was us and Screaming Trees. We just tore up Europe. It was a trial by fire for me. Looking back, I don't know if I would have jumped in without thinking about it more. I mean, I wouldn't take it back for the world, but it was such a crazy thing. To just hop on a plane and now I'm in Alice in Chains. We put a lot of road miles in. I think at the height, there was one year where we did 350,000 road miles. And that's not even including the tour bus. That's 10, 11 times around the earth in the air in one year. End quote. Now, I'll be posting a separate video going over the details of why Mike Starr was let go from the band, but for now, I want to share a couple of quotes from him about his reaction to the breakup. This first quote is from 2010, one year before his death. Quote, When they asked me to leave the band, it broke my heart. I don't care about a band thing. I don't care about them dismissing me from the band. I never quit the band for one thing. I'm not a quitter. End quote. It should be noted that Mike Starr and Lane Staley in particular were very close friends and maintained a friendship even after his departure from the band. Now, on the day he was let go from Alice in Chains, Mike Starr had a very dangerous drug-related experience with both Lane Staley and Kurt Cobain. This quote is from Alice in Chains' The Untold Story. Quote, On the day they kicked me out, I was like, Kurt, shoot me up, because we were playing with Nirvana and the Chili Peppers down in South America. Lane shot me up first a couple of times. Then Kurt shot me up, and then Lane shot me up after that same night, and I died for like 11 minutes. Dead for 11 minutes, Lane said. I woke up, I was all wet, and I was in a different room. I was in the bathroom, and Lane just punched me in the face, crying. End quote. As mentioned, Mike Inez replaced Mike Starr in the band. The following is a quote from Jerry Contrell, where he reflects on the fact that they both have the same name and more. Quote, I think we toured with Ozzy for half a year. It was a real family type thing. Hanging out with Zach Wilde, Randy Castillo, Mike Inez, and Ozzy was great. So when we decided to make that decision, we made one phone call and we called Mike Inez. If we're going to get another bass player, we're going to have to at least get another guy with the same name, smokes the same cigarettes, plays the same bass, and looks the same. 